Hi, my name is Sazi Lawale. It's been a long time since I uploaded any video. Today we'll be discussing about K nearest Neverwood or KNN. It is one of the simplest supervised machine learning algorithm for classification as well as regression problem that might be useful. We'll briefly go through the algorithm limitation and work on the implementation code that will classify MNIST digit dataset. And you'll be shocked to see the accuracy you can get. KNN is simply a three-step algorithm. When you get a test input, you need to calculate the distance with all the training data set, then find the K training set that is closest to the test set. Finally, we assign the label for the test set based on the majority label of K training set. Here, K is just a number. When K is equal to three, as shown in the first picture, we take three nearest training set from the test set. In this case, out of three set, two of them are of class B. Hence, we decide the test set to be of class B. Similarly, when K is equal to six, out of six closest train set, four of them were of class A. Hence, we predict the test set is of class A. Obviously, one big question is how can we select the value of k? There is no hard and fast rule. We usually start with k equals to 1 and continue testing at higher value of k. When we use lower value of k, the model is low biased and high invariance, which means it does good with training set but not good with test set. Similarly, if we use a higher value of k, our model will be highly biased and low invariance, which means it is not so good with the train set, but better with the test set. This graph summarizes this concept. As you increase the value of k, the error on the test set starts to decrease and then starts to increase again. But for the test set, error increases. The value of k where error on the test set is minimum is the optimum value of k. Since we need to store all the training data set, the space complexity is very large. Also, we need to compute the distance of each test set from all the training data set. The time complexity also is very big. To solve these issues, we can either only take important features and use them only for computation, or we can reduce the overall training dataset as well. In the implementation, we are purely using only Python and NumPy with a MNIST dataset, digit dataset. Just to recall, MNIST has 60,000 training images and 10,000 test images of 28 by 28 monochromatic pixels. And here is the high level understanding of our implementation. We have our MNIST dataset. We took the first 6,000 image for training and last 1,000 images for testing. Then we calculated the Euclidean distance of each test image from all the training images and sort them in ascending order. Now for each value of k starting at 1, we predict the digit based on digit majority of the k nearest training image. Then we find the accuracy of k in for each value of k. We can find the implementation in the collab link attached in the description. It's a simple implementation. We also have the flowchart for each function we define in the slides. Please find the link in the description for that. As the final output, we have an accuracy graph. 
on the x-axis is the value of k and in y-axis we have accuracy and these different and these different curves on the graph are the accuracy of each digit from 0 to 9 as we vary the value of k. For example, the yellowish dotted line is the accuracy of digit 8, which seems to be lowest among others, and orange dotted line is the accuracy of 1, which has the highest overall accuracy. Looking at this graph, the optimum value of k in this case is 5, as we have the highest accuracy there. We would very appreciate your support, so please spread this video like wildfire. Hit the like button, share, ring that bell for exciting videos to come, like about self-organizing maps, which is an unsupervised ML algorithm that has multiple interesting applications like clustering, classification, and dimensionality reduction. We are going to discuss the algorithm with beautiful and clear visualization of each step along the way. Please comment on any ML algorithm you want to see being covered in coming videos. You could also binge our previous videos like deep face for facial expression, upscaling tiny images, coloring black and white images, making slow-mo videos from regular videos, and many more. So have a great day, thank you.